Manchester United kicked off their Champions League game with the best possible start, a 3-0 win over FC Basel at Old Trafford. You want to try and win all your home games in the Champions League, but away games, they're tough. And Moscow away, CSKA Moscow, is going to be Manchester United's hardest game of the group stage, as far as I'm concerned. But what's the team news going into the game? How have CSKA Moscow been playing? Let's get into the big match preview. In terms of team news, Phil Jones and Eric Bailly are both available for Manchester United after their suspensions, which ruled them out of the FC Basel game, which is great news for Jose Mourinho. But will he start Lindelof and Smalling again? I hesitate to guess that he will. They're in my predicted 11. Anyway, one player who certainly won't play is Paul Pogba. His hamstring injury is still ruling him out. And Marouan Fellaini won't play either. He hasn't travelled with the squad to Moscow. Nemanja Matic is available, which is great news for Manchester United. Zlatan Ibrahimovic obviously not fit to play just yet. But Pogba and Fellaini both out of midfield. That's a bit of a concern for United in an area where I think we're lacking in real, real depth and options. We'll probably see Matic and Herrera start alongside each other, but it depends if Matic is fit and ready or the Mourinho is just going to hold him back and wait for the weekend. But if Matic didn't play, who plays in midfield? Carrick and Herrera? that midfield could get overrun. And if there's one thing I feel we need to do against Moscow, it's control the tempo of the game. Don't let Moscow take possession. Don't let Moscow control the game. If we're chasing the game against Moscow, I fear for injuries. I fear for United going behind and not being able to come back in front. But I just feel keep the possession in this game and Man United should have a comfortable night. How have CSKA Moscow been playing this season? Man United flying high at the top of the Premier League with Manchester City, but... In Russia, after finishing runners-up to Spartak Moscow last year, they're currently fourth with 20 points from their opening 11 games. And they're out of the Russian Cup as well. They've definitely saved their best form for Europe. So I think that's where CSKA and Moscow's focus is really going to be this year. At home, they're going to be confident. It's never an easy game for an English team to go to Russia and try and get a result. Man United have amazing memories of Moscow after 2008. But CSK in Moscow on Wednesday, I do expect it to be a tough game. I don't expect Man United to be getting the 3 4 nils that we've been doing against Swansea and Everton. I'm expecting more of a tricky game like it was against Southampton at the weekend. Now, as you can remember, we did play CSK in Moscow back in the 2015 16 season. Now we drew one all away and we won 1 0 at Old Trafford. So four points from a possible six against Moscow. And Mourinho will be absolutely delighted if that's the case this year as well because if Man United can win all three of our home games and one point away from home that is the magic 10 points that is considered enough to qualify for the Champions League knockout games and that's without a game against Benfica and a game against Basel away as well. But what's my prediction for the game? As I said I expect this to be Manchester United's toughest game in the Champions League group stages. Moscow will not make it easy for us. Without Pobre in the team that's a real blow but if Matic starts I do feel Man United will have enough in midfield to control the game. With Martial, Rashford and Lukaku in such fantastic goal-scoring form, I don't expect United to score a blank. But I kind of do expect CSK in Moscow to score. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 narrow win for Manchester United. Either that or a one-all draw. And I'll be honest, I'll be happy with a one-all draw. As I say, get that one point and concentrate on winning all three home Champions League games and we get the magic 10 points. But what do you think is going to happen in the game? As always, drop a like on the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. We'll see you soon. Take it easy.